Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. And in the last episode, there were some temporal shenanigans, guys, having to deal with uh, both Deristy and Deristy Jr. It was kind of strange to have over half an episode dedicated to not doing anything really in the game in terms of like quests and such. But it may not be over because we have some more mail from Deristy Jr. I've got a recovered item, a lot of Sargeras. <laughs> Purple Haze. <coughs> Green Swindle Gear. I think I have to skip the pleasantries because I have to confess. I heard everything. I was hiding in stealth, and I saw you. Let it be known, he is my father. I have a plan to bring him back to the corporeal world to show him that I exist. I need some regents. If I have a blue, red, green, and purple gem, I can speak to him clearly. The, ready, the rarity or value doesn't matter, only the color. Would you procure them for me, please? Regards, the Reisty Jr. Oh, we got another letter here. Oh, and one more thing. While I have your attention, you may as well come along while I perform the ritual. It's not anywhere that far away, either. Just meet me at the crossroads in the Barrens, and I'll show you at the correct location. Remember to bring the gems. They're beyond important. Regards, the Reisty Jr. You know what? I don't... Mm. I normally don't do work for free. But let's go ahead and summon uh, Gaba here, my quartermaster. Now, what exactly was he needing? What colors? We got blue, red, green, purple. <laughs> Blue. Red. Green. And purple. Okay, thank you, Quartermaster. Well, I guess what we can do is I will... Go ahead and use my Pugilist Powerful Punching Ring that we got from the Arena during Legion, which I still have, and the Arena is fired back up, so I know what I'll eventually be doing sometime during this series. And I will head to the crossroads, guys, and I'll see you there. So we're making our approach to the crossroads now. <laughs> so many memories here. In uh, pre kata and post kata they tell you the God's Honest Truth, seeing old crossroads would be one of the primary reasons I would uh, play World of Warcraft Classic. Maybe not do a series on it, but just have a a uh, kind of a reunion for old time's sake. Okie dokie. So it says to Reisty Juniors in the Northern Barrens. Now he's probably going to appear right next to me, but boop, 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 boom. Eh, okay. <laughs> Oi, Swindle Gear, up here, you deaf goblin. Yeah, it's normally where I would hang out, though. Da, da, da. Yeah. How's it going? Okay, so. Now, I got your gems. Now, I need to tell you, I'm normally not in the habit of 
doing things like this for free. Deliveries and such. What price are you offering? Call this one on the house. But just this one. Maybe it'll lead to a headache rem remedy. Good, because I only have five gold. Perfect. Watch, it's gonna be. He's gonna summon some <laughs> Kalima. <laughs> hey, where's my first mate? Hey, there's me. Now, this ritual will require a place that is humid and very full of spirits. Because where there's spirits, there are the timelines. Luckily, I have the perfect place. Yeah, I bet you it's gonna be wailing cabins. Where to? Very well. Yeah. Ooh, what is that? Broken Highland Mustang. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Just tell me where and get in. Ah, yes. Down south, near the Wailing Caverns. I knew it. There's a marsh, swamp area. Can't miss it. Yeah, on the way. Oh, you mean the entire marsh, swamp area. <laughs> Is there actually a name to that? Yeah, the Stagnant Oasis. Adders and oh yeah, I forgot everything is uh, Dereisty's level. Forgot about the auto. This is our stop. Now, a place with high ele elevation would be nice. Up this hill. We're gonna light the beacons of Gondor? What's... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Eh. Nice view. The Reisty Jr. takes out a small water flask, sticks his finger in it, and points in the wind. Conditions aren't exactly perfect, but they will do just fine. Now, step back.
You about to explode? What are you doing? Dresty Jr. places the first gem. Dresty Jr. places the second gem. No, I want colors. I want more detail. <laughs> Dresty Jr. places the fourth gem. By all powers combined. They're a bit small, but they work. Was that a joke? Now behold, as I say the spell. Ooh, he's all timeliney. Yeah, you're speaking forsaken. Modern region Veldamanias Ayas Goth. You know, I think I can speak Goblin too. I forgot how to do that. It's been ages. <laughs> Klatu, Barada, Nikto. Impatient. <laughs> you fidget. And he's gone. Yeah. Blink at a mouth. <laughs> Mel cowers in fear at the sight of you. Nud Rasper! Ador Gothgard! Eh. Pardon? I don't speak monkey. A male points at you. Point over yonder. <laughs> well, there. Yep. So what? Can, can someone tell me what what is going on here? Emil cries. You know that headaches me. It's worse. Yeah, there you are. So, uh, So, what did he say? So, uh, he wasn't there. It was a human woman. Uh, a what? Yeah, seemed pretty tame. Yeah, too. Mm, 
what did she look like? I, I don't know. All of them look alike to me. I'd say... Describes the woman. Now let's see how the Reisty Junior... How jun I just want to call him Junior. Junior whispers under his breath. Amel. Okay. You seem familiar. Okay, to fill... Fill me in. Well, either way, it failed. Probably because we're in a very primitive area. And as to filling you in, she was my mother. Dead. Yeah, gotcha. Actually, we'll just nod. <laughs> mm -hmm. She was murdered with me. She was not saved and raised into forsaken as I was. And I don't know much beyond that. <laughs> Whistles. Come on, these gems still have energy inside of them. I know the perfect place we can try this again. Thunder Bluff. Alright, so Thunder Bluff it is. Back to Mulgore. That's a little bit of a ride. Yeah. Ain't gonna be happy. Bit me. I was thinking we could head to Okamar by Wyvern and take a Zeppelin there, but the wait times are so long. Damn goblins. But I also do not know the path to Thunder Bluff. So are we heading to Mulgore ourselves? It's been a while since the Kata. Eh, let's go this way. Ahem. What are you saying about goblins? Great. My body detached from my stomach there. Deviant plane strider. Enervated. Flush with uncontrolled power from deep within the earth. <laughs> I know that you guys um, do like the RP episodes. I don't know if this is going to be a regular thing, because I know we still have a lot of more game to play. But I am curious where this is going to go, so... I doubt it's going to be like an every episode kind of thing, because we also do have the uh, <laughs> all the stuff with the journey to the middle of nowhere, Dark Lady Calls, we haven't even touched Darkshore yet. But yes, while we ride, the Spirit Cave over at Thunder Bluff is way less chaotic and will allow me a more precise look into the timeline.
Sound like one of those bronze... Bronze dragons, Junior. So much that I could probably talk to my mother, too, for what it's worth. Junior looks off to the side, obviously distressed. Oh, no. Did they close the gates? Crap. Man, I always hear about these bronze dragons, but I've never seen one in my tamperings with the timelines. They must be on vacation. Doop, 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 doom. Well, that wouldn't be the right work to use, considering, well, you know, Dereisty. So what? Ship like with your pops before he lost his memory of you. So where's the spirit cave at? Um, strained. Where's the cave? Because there's a lot of caves here in Mulgor. Should be on the spirit rise. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I don't have a... I don't have a two-seater flying mount. Every single time I've tried to invite people to come play the game, they, they get the game and I'm like, oh yeah, but they never keep playing. So then I don't get the, the two-seater, which makes me a sad panda. Aw, oh, that still makes me sad every time I hear it. Like, it's a Ahab Wheat Hoof, which um, I think I talked about this in the Legion series, was uh, a kid, a sick kid who got to uh, voice that character. I think he passed, he passed away, too. Anyway, I was always the kid who disobeyed my father's orders and wanted to live my own life. When me and my mom were killed, I... Already owned a house in Westfall. Taking up the farmer's life? I was only coming over for Pilgrim's Bounty. Ooh, killed on a holiday. That's rough. Yes, that was the plan. Oh, there's the elevator. Can we catch it? Quickly! I was killed by some short orc. I only vaguely remember. Gotta watch out for those orcs. Dangerous. Never know when some might pop up out of the way. Here we go. So if you actually take a portal to Thunder Bluff, this is where you sh pop out of. Come on, we're in the middle of Thunder Bluff. That's probably not the best place to say that. Welp, we're here. Hey, personally, I don't think it would be bad. I think orcs would take that as a compliment.
I do have to admire the preparation that Dreisty's doing to set all this stuff up. This pool should do the trick. Junior kneels down. Junior places down each of the stones. Each stone is roughly five inches away from another. <laughs> no, you fool! It's six inches! <laughs> Thunder Bluff goes up in flames. Now, let's try this again. Junior kneels down. Fidget, fidget. Magic words. La di 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 da 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 abracapocus. Probably saying all kinds of scandalous things about me. And he's gone. To be replaced with. Chip. Well then. Dreisty the patient. Kizan! Swindle! Oh, thank goodness! This is bad. Really bad. It normally is. Go on. Listen, you need to trust me. What I'm going to say won't sound pretty. Uh-huh. Of course. I'm trapped. Someone I don't know has trapped me in this prison. They've taken my name and my attire. Blink. They only have malicious intent towards you and my son. Oh, okay, I thought Dreisty... Wait. You have to trust me beyond anyone else. Do not trust the fake Dreisty. And what I'm also going to say is going to be even more important. Are you listening? Yep. Keep hitting me with the bad news. I can take it. He goes, well, you know, what else could go wrong? I've already taken on the, you know, the Burning Legion and the Scourge and... Oh. Do not tell DeRisty Jr. about this. Tell them that I told you that I was okay. And that I was returning soon. Do not tell him of the imposter. And if you do so, it would only mean death for both of us. And even you. Oh no. I'm fading. Mr. Swindlegear, I don't feel so good. Do not trust the fake Dreisty. Do not. Hmm. And welcome back, Junior. Yep. There. Was he there? Yep. That he was.
Great. What did he say? He's got some last minute business to take care of. But he should be returning soon. He sends hugs and kisses. No, he wouldn't do that. <laughs> Sweet. Feel better. What do you mean? That he's returning soon. That it's a load off your mind. Oh yes, it's relief off my chest. Good. Seems like an interesting question to ask. I'm an interesting fellow. Now, are we done here? I got a war to fight. And paychecks to cash. Well, I probably shouldn't keep you occupied for too much longer. You must have tons to do. Keep me in the loop, though. Thank you so much, Swindle. I shall never be in your debt. Metaphorically and literally. Keep me in the loop, though. Oh, yes. Totally. Later. But I must return to Ogremar for my own business. Take care. So, there's a fake Deristi running around. Getting into, um... Not necessarily replicant, but um, was it? This is us. But that that one movie that just came out with Keenan, the Keenan Peel film with the doppelgangers, kind of stuff. So that should be interesting. Okay, well we will see what happens when Fake Deristi, um shows up, I suppose. And actually. Hold on, before we end the episode... Okay, that, those were all letters from Deristi Jr. So we need to be aware of fake Deristi whenever he shows. But in the meantime, we still have a lot to do in the main game that I need to hit. So, we are, I promise you, I promise you. Guys, in uh, the next episode, we will go ahead and speak with Tattersell and sell to the Great Sea get that storyline taken care of and then we'll decide where we're going to go from there probably dark shore but uh yeah we we will make it work or maybe start doing the raids i'm, I'm not sure but we're, we're gonna get there i swear <laughs> i do like the rp um with deristi it's it, like the the preparation that he went through for all that is pretty pretty insane as someone said in the comments in the last episode i wish i had someone like deristi in my life and I'm glad that I do. But if you guys like the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone. <laughs>